Hello everyone, my name is Lakshmi Narayan and today's our topic is what is the key differences between ETF versus mutual fund versus an individual stock. So here I have put in table all the uh, key metrics on these key metrics we will judge, we will understand and I have put uh, all together in a unique table so that it is very easy to understand and easy to remember. So here in first column I have put key metrics, second column ETF column, third column is mutual fund and fourth column is stock. So first our key metric is strategy. So uh, how ETFs are managed? Actually ETFs are uh, you know uh, these are tracking an index. So totally uh, how much uh, stocks are there in an index they will take as is. Okay and uh, mutual fund it is basket of stocks and this is uh, solely depends on the mutual fund manager as per uh, the mutual fund uh, strategy and stock is there is no strategy because this is a single stock and we are only uh, selecting that stock and second one is managing style so here you can see ETFs are passively managed but mutual funds are actively managed passively managed as in uh, they are directly uh, taking same weightage of that stock as index but in mutual fund it is actively managed because they are selecting stocks as per their strategy uh, how much ever weight they want to put they can put there is no, li no limitation on that but stocks this is also actively managed because we are going to select the stock we are going to buy it okay and next one is diversification so ETFs depends on uh, the index if index is diversified then ETF is also diversified otherwise not and mutual fund yes uh, many cases it's diversified it's very good di diversified and stock there is no diversification because this is only one stock our next uh, matrix is trade during the day ETFs are traded during the day like as uh, stocks and mutual funds these are not traded on the exchange it's NAV decided at the end of the day price and stocks yeah these are traded uh, throughout the day expenses front we can see uh, ETFs are having lower expenses expense ratio and mutual funds are regarded as high expense ratio and stocks there is no expense ratio because uh, there is no uh, mutual fund manager who is going to manage you are the only who is going to manage it next one is minimum investment requirement so in ETF there is no minimum requirement of funds mutual fund generally there is minimum requirement of funds that this must is the minimum money you have to invest in our mutual fund in stocks there is no minimum requirement because you can even buy one share of that uh, particular company and uh, uh, sales loads you can see ETFs there is no sales load and in mutual fund there may be sales load as per the country uh, regulations and stocks generally there is no sales load on liquidity front you can see ETFs uh, are having very high liquidity as compared to mutual fund because mutual funds and we are decided end of the day it's not uh, trading throughout the day and uh, stocks it depends stock is from uh, large cap or small cap like this and uh, risk side you can see uh, in ETF uh, risk is uh, you know it depends on the index if index is very risky then obviously ETF will be risky mutual fund generally it is regarded that mutual fund are uh, highly diversified that's why it's low risky but stocks uh, is very high risky because even individual stock can uh, you know uh, maybe 50% uh, down 40% uh, down so it depends on the stock so this is it guys from my side and uh, thank you so much for being with me please like uh, this video and subscribe my channel thank you so much